What is going on guys, Victor here, and I got a beautiful Florida Keys permit in my hands. Now, I already filmed this entire introduction in the Keys, but unfortunately, I accidentally deleted my entire memory card. I didn't get that juicy B-roll intro with all the music like I normally get for you guys, and I also had a really, really important announcement to make. I had all my friends wearing the brand new Landshark shirts in long sleeve, short sleeve, seafoam green, ice blue, white, available online August 15th. The website goes live. Very high quality super soft performance tees. What you guys are about to see next is some footage of a couple of buddies and I. I only have the GoPro footage that I was able to recover of a Florida Keys permit and then I'll meet you guys back at the flay table and we're going to flay this guy up. Now that the tide switched and it is outgoing which at this bridge we like to fish the outgoing tide because the permit kind of hang around those pilings and what I'm going to do is pitch my crab out there which I'm about to grab for you guys in just a second. There we go. It's a little bit smaller of a crab. Let's find the bottom rod. The bottom rod is over here. And actually, when I fish crabs on bottom, I prefer to fish them dead because I don't like my crab crawling into whatever he's trying to crawl into because they're going to try to get away from things. They're not just going to sit there and say, eat me to the permit or tarpon, whatever's trying to eat it. But I will put him out alive right here in the corner of the shell and really slowly work it in there. Got my, uh, it's a Mustad Demon Circle. This is 40 pound Bull Buster fluorocarbon leader. And I've realized I've been very bad at talking about what my terminal tackle is with you guys. Cause I know a lot of people will ask and I get a ton of questions in the comment sections below. So I'm trying to get better at that for you guys. Cause a lot of people are interested. So just like that, right in the corner of the shell, 40 circle hook. We got a sliding bottom rig five ounce bank sinker time to send it pitch it right next to that piling over there just like that victor just hooked up let's go walk back there you go dude it's a permit permit There you go. Start getting those short pumps. Oh, Sorry, buddy. No, you're good. Yeah. Yes, boys! Yeah. We did it! That's a good one. It's like that. And guess what? It's not getting released. It's permit season, 2K18. Look at that freaking, Woo! yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Damn, man. Nice job, man. Hang up. The crab, and look at this, perfectly in the corner of the mouth. And this thing, this thing is really glued in there. There we go, make sure it's focused. Ready? All right, guys, so like I said, seriously, just one of the coolest, most beautiful fish. We come down here, we sweat our butts off on the bridge, <laughs> fish all day in the hot concrete for these things right here. This is beautiful. Ryan is gonna bleed this fish right now. What you wanna do is you wanna look for this little membrane and a lot of blood. It's really where all of the, um, where their gills kind of synthesize oxygen into something that they can uh, utilize in their blood. So there's a huge Ooh. concentration of blood right here, kind of in their throat, just like a human being. So we'll calm him down a little bit. Dispatch the fish. Ease, ease his pain, you know what I mean? And the reason we're doing this to bleed them is because it's gonna make the meat better, tenderize a little bit, get rid of some of that bloodline meat. And uh, cause the last time I had permit, it was a bit on the chewy side. And I think it's because me and Chris did not bleed them. You gotta, you gotta bleed it and you gotta take care of the meat. So we're gonna get this guy right on ice after we bleed him. Kind of let a lot of the blood out. You get a lot of that membrane. And I'll just kinda there and, and sure no, we're not going. torturing this fish, guys. This nah, is common kinda, practice we're we're amongst kinda, fishermen. And it's putting it out of its misery because, yeah. unfortunately, you know, it's we're harvesting the fish legally and everything like that, but it's sitting here gasping for air. So, yeah. it's, you know, it's just not any different than a hunter, you know, ending his deer's life that, you know, didn't get a perfect shot. It's the exact same concept. 
Film us. Yeah. Definitely oyster fish ASAP, especially bigger fish because you really got to get to the core of that meat. Yeah, you want it chilled. It makes it easier for you to fillet. It makes a firmer meat overall. It's just good for it. Good for the kitchen later. I hope you guys enjoyed the fishing portion of that video. And as always, one of my favorite parts of these videos is teaching you guys about the anatomy of the fish and everything and just kind of showing you guys the different um, anatomical features. And I think that permit are such badass fish. A lot of people think that they're really mysterious in a way just because of the fact that it, they're not necessarily hard to target, but it's just the bait and the ways you target them aren't necessarily accessible to all anglers. Anglers, First of all, you got to use blue crabs or some type of crab or shrimp as bait, which is usually expensive. If you guys look here, permit have really, really soft rubbery mouths and it kind of protrudes out there. And what they do is these guys roam the flats, they roam wrecks and stuff, and they eat crustaceans primarily. They are known to feed on fish, but it's just funny that they have some of the softest mouths of fish and yet eat some of the hardest prey in the fish world. Just absolutely beautiful. You got these yellow bellies and uh, I'm really excited to see what's gonna be in this guy's stomach as well. So as you guys see, the permit is all filleted up and you might be thinking, why the heck did you go around all this? Well, this is actually his rib cage. And a lot of fish, especially fish that eat a lot of crustaceans, have these really big rib cages. Sheep's head have them. Um, a lot of snapper will have bigger rib cages. And when all this meat that's sitting on top of here, it's a very, very thin layer and it's pretty much all rib meat. So if you want to get tedious, you know, you can really cut all around it, but it's pretty much all rib meat. And then all this is going to be his guts. That's a lot of stuff. All right, here is the permit's guts. And like I said, oh, look at that. I don't know if that's a crab. That looks like maybe the bottom of a crab. What do you think? The bottom shell of a crab, Brooke? Oh, yeah. Those are baby lobster Lobsters. legs. Oh, yeah. This guy's been munching on some lobster. So these look like juvenile lobster legs. Definitely not keeper. And we can tell because we literally just got back Today's actually opening day of lobster season, so Brick's behind the camera. We just spent all day lobstering, so those are spiny lobster, probably little ones, and what they'll do is lobster are normally hidden in rocks and stuff, but at night they'll roam the uh, grass flats, and uh, Mr. Permit comes by and scoops, swoops on in, and uh, he's going for his last swim. I gotta tell you guys, the skin is kind of thick and chewy. I don't recommend eating it. I've never done it myself, but it does not look appetizing. And another thing is permit have a ton of bloodline. I don't know if it's because they're really muscular fish, but there's quite a bit of waste when it comes to permit flays in comparison to other fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and just skin one of these up real quick. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that really um, just chewy, thick bloodline. It's almost like leather. So look at that. This stuff is not very appetizing. I mean, it's it's not like snapper skin that falls apart when you cook it. It's really, really thick stuff. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Voiceover Vic coming at you. You guys, I was so bummed out about the whole deleted footage thing. I mean, I had all my good buddies wearing the new shirts. I got all these good clips and pics and all sorts of stuff wearing the new merch. And it all just went to waste because I just was careless and I accidentally deleted my memory card. So now what we're going to be doing today is making some poached permit. And for this recipe, it is going to be very simple. You guys see flat leaf parsley being chopped up. I also squished up. It was probably three quarters of a whole head of garlic. And then now for the broth for our sauce to poach our fish in, I'm going to be using tomato and really cook it down because tomato will release a lot of nice juice and liquid and we'll be able to cook our fish in it. So now anyone who's watched a permit catch and cook in the past knows that I tell you guys that these are very, very chewy fish if not worked with properly. So permit, I highly recommend to cut in half lengthwise 
and to remove any kind of this film and stuff as you guys see me that is coming from the head portion of the meat permit they got kind of strange meat it's really good it's not fishy it's got a smooth buttery texture but it's very firm and tough if you don't treat it the right way it's definitely best to eat it in a thinner fillet manner don't try to do things that's gonna take a lot of moisture out because the fillets can be dry then that's why i'm going with a poached style permit now we got olive oil going into the pan once our oil gets hot enough go ahead and add that garlic and parsley into the oil cook it down for one to two minutes just release the aroma of the parsley and the garlic and then go ahead and add about a cup of wine and really reduce its volume by around half you guys see i bring it up to a boil reduce the heat and then now we are going to season up our permit fillets I wanted just the true nature of the fish, so I just lightly seasoned these guys with some Old Bay, and they're really gonna get their flavor from the, the broth that we're gonna poach these fish in. So you guys see, the volume of the wine is reduced by around half. We go ahead and add our tomatoes. I think I did around five vine-ripe tomatoes, and we bring this up to a boil, season it with some black pepper, some salt, and kind of cook these tomatoes down like 10 to 15 minutes there is Brooke stealing my broth with her little mushroom she's a little mushroom head she absolutely loves these guys as you guys see I'm walking away from the camera I can't see what she's doing now bring this up to a boil and look at that color now when we get towards the end where those tomatoes really release a lot of that juice I went ahead and added just a half a stick of butter give it some love get some fat content in there because like I said permit can be dry and fish just overall don't have a lot of fat in them it's pretty much protein so you guys can get away with adding some fat in fish dishes now we go ahead and we literally boil or poach our fish into this broth mixture that I created and it is just so yummy becoming one of my favorite ways to cook fish and I wanted to just top our permit with some mushrooms so I went ahead and added some butter about a clove of garlic get this nice and toasty and put a lid over the permit so they poach properly Go ahead and add our mushrooms to that butter garlic mixture. Just cook them down around five minutes. I mean, I love mushrooms. Being Slovakian, it is a huge part of our culture. We eat a lot of mushrooms, especially in so many dishes. And that's gonna be for the topping of our fish. Go ahead and flip those fillets once they cook through on one side. And I did make linguine, you guys didn't see that on camera. I went and just add one box of linguine, add it to our sauce, and now we're ready to dish it up. We got our linguine mixed with all that sauce and juice, and then we're gonna serve our fish directly on top of our linguine, and then top our fish with just that little mushroom. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I apologize, I know it was kind of all over the place, and that is due to the fact that I deleted that Sony footage. And don't forget guys, August 15th, the website goes live. Long sleeve, short sleeve, performance tees, the Land Shark merch is finally here. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my Land Sharks, in that next video. Oh, yeah.